Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So at the end of the last episode, or during the last episode, we made um, steel process to produce steel ingots. Today we're going to do bronze because that is one of the important recipes. And let's have a look around here. We want to have a look at basically what we've got to do today. So if we have a look at for rockets, for example, and I've got them here set up ready, I think I need a rocket tier two. We need quite a lot of stuff. So basically we need one nose cone, which isn't such a problem. We also need, um, let's have a look, four rocket fins, two tier one boosters, one rocket engine and 10 heavy duty plates. Now, these are all made out of heavy duty plates tier 1 and tier 2 heavy duty plates tier tier 2 are made out of heavy duty plates tier 1 which are made out of 64 well actually this is actually 96 refined iron plates 96 bronze plates and 64 aluminium plates so that's the same as ingots which is a lot and in other words so I think I did a quick calculation as what we actually needed and it comes around about 1500 plates of each type which is a reasonable amount so before i start doing that i'm going to do something else and i'm going to do implement a tip that's i've been given by somebody called barry skidmore and what he's telling me is i can use hopper ducks or hoppers here for collecting cactus so i've got some item ducks and i think i need some servos and um, we'll use a chest which we've got already but we'll just test it first of all and because this will be quite nice if it all works fine I'll just quickly go through there I'll go through this because we can then jump up up this high so what I want to do is I want to replace these and so let's have a look what have I got for blocks on me I've got some mint I'll do actually let's put some mint down here and then jump onto that and hopefully I can then take away these walls so what I'd like to do is to first of all let's remove this slab oh in fact i do actually need to put that slab down somewhere else don't i because i need to connect to that now a hopper a vacuum hopper so let's take a vacuum hopper out of here like that and then just connect this to here like so and then i can remove this one if i can reach as which i can't so we'll just make another in fact what we're going to do here let's take these mint and just put them across the wall i think we'll do so we can then come along here, remove the next one. And put another hop beside it. Like this. And then I can remove this one, of course. And that's been obviously picked up by these vacuum hoppers. Now the vacuum hoppers only have a range of about four. I'll demonstrate that in a second, I think. But for the time being, I'm going to just do this, this, and this. Like that. And it'll be probably better. So what I want to do next is to take these, because I'll be able to knock these walls down if that's the case. So we can then attach to these some, um, some pipes. Let's do that. And I'll carry on and do this off camera, so to speak. So let's put the item ducks down here. Item ducks we've made already. They're quite reasonably cheap. They cost, um, I think it's for eight. They cost something like, oops, missed, try again. Two tin ingots and one lead ingot. So especially the opaque ones, we don't need to use hardened glass for that. Hardened glass is reasonably expensive. Let's remove the chest and put down the crescent hammer. Then another, I can shift right click that now I can configure these so the vacuum hopper we basically want to take oh this isn't so good let's put in a control oh it she will do won't it? Is it oh yeah so we can then set on here um, an output yep and that should I was hoping this will connect to the item ducts doesn't look like it is actually and I haven't got fluid ducts no I've got item ducts good Let's try this one. Um, top. Yes. In fact, they don't look as though they're connecting. 
if they don't connect that gives me a slight problem because I'm not sure what to use in that case open blocks oh I suppose we could use transfer nodes I just saw I just saw something break then so look yeah, so collected that and that one's been collected in here that's good I, I think I'll leave it for that for the time being and I'll go and see if I can figure out whether I can get this to connect it should connect I'm not sure why it's not connecting we can do this one as well we'll try if that actually also works if we put a slip fish we we'll left click that on top as well actually it shouldn't make any difference I don't think it's because I haven't got an inventory maybe it has let's get out of here anyway I'm a bit low down now let's see if I can put a chest on top of this here like that I don't think this is the reason for it not connecting by the way but there's no harm in trying is there because it definitely doesn't look as though it's connecting because I'd expect to see this type of end if it was all right and then I'm going to have to change the system and use uh, instead of using hot item looks I'm going to have to use um, transfer nodes that's not such a big deal we can make some transfer nodes while we come inside here what do we need we need six don't we so that means six blocks of redstone that's seven oops what did I just do oh, that's fine and we need six blocks of iron I shall make seven like that and we'll come in here and we'll put these into the assembly table and we shall select transfer nodes and they will actually get made very quickly as we can see so let's just take one of these transfer nodes now and see if that actually will work um, I would actually also need some transfer pipes of course which I don't have on me but they should be in this chest here yes so let's see if we can do the next one by the way I shouldn't be able to jump up here if we just try it see I can't get up but I can in this we can then jump just gives me that little extra boost jump so it's just good it can get onto here no problem so we need to break this one down and that's probably been oh it's just okay it's not too bad we'll move the arrow pick out of the way and put this on here like this so we can then put this down on this one so that's number seven and then we can put the hopper beside that of course i haven't got my hopper in view so let's get that out of there put those in there and let's see if we can actually attach the transfer node to this and um, what I'll do is I'll just connect one to this I don't think it'll connect but we, there's no harm in trying is there yep oh now that's strange so what's happened there then it doesn't need a because that's now connected isn't it that's interesting okay good if that's the case well maybe I have to do is right click these ah nice that's that's it job done smashing phew <laughs> yeah I was pretty certainly connected it did throw me a bit for the time being so let's try this one here number number one right click that one then dig up this one and we can remove this item node here I don't think we need this always useful to have these anyway for the processing down below so let's get these item ducts put onto here oh I need first of all let's configure this well, let's configure this to be on the top like that and the same over here I don't really need to do that actually to be honest with you I'd need to do the liquids the other way wouldn't I the XP so let's see if these now connect when I put them down Ah, yes so then I can come along here like that and it just connects up automatically of course let's remove this one and we've got two more to go let's just do those two 
Because to be honest with you, I think I've got plenty of time to do the bronze. I don't think it's any more difficult than doing any of the other ones. So I need to put one down on this stone here, like us here, and we can put the hoppers beside that. That side and the vacuum hopper says and that side. Vacuum hoppers are very simple to make. I'm not even going to bother to show you how to do that because I'm sure you already know. It's now of course we've got ender pearls which are not so expensive as they were in the early versions. It makes um, vacuum hoppers a reasonable choice. So there we are. Right, so now let's just connect these up. Of course I don't think it's going to work straight away without servos. Well, let's have a look. Nothing in there yet. So all we have to do now is connect up the servos. Oops. Like this. And configure that to be always active. Oh, that was loud. And again. So another one got taken. Let's see if that's ended up in the chest. So just simply right clicking this on here and right clicking it again, you can actually access this. And these are blacklisting, so we're not blacklisting anything. So everything should, in that case, end up in this chest. It's working fantastic. Thank you very much, Barry. That's a good tip. So now we'll leave this for a bit and see how we get on. We should have plenty of um, down here anyway. Look, we've got two and a half two stacks yeah nearly two and a half stacks of cactus which is good for our water supply so what do we need to do the next bit there's two things I need to do one I'd like to come along here and put and feed down onto this um, sterling generator carbon and I'm going to use these again to do this these item ducts what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to take from here I'm going to bring this cable around maybe not so far because I need to connect it up to here yes I think I'll do it like that so what I'm trying to do is to connect a um, what's it called a decomposer which I've got in here actually chemical decomposer I want to connect that up to here. I also would like to have take these rationing parts maybe for the bronze. I'll take these as well. And some cables. I think we need that and we'll need some export buses. What do we need for export? Fluid export. No, we need export buses straightforward ones. We'll take six of those. We only need three, so let's just take three. That's an import bus which we don't yet need. And fluid export buses. Oh, actually, we need two of these. I'll take three of each just in case. So, what I'm planning to do is to put this chemical decomposer here onto this, like this. So, if I basically put that there, and then onto this side, we can put. Ooh, I think it wants to come. It does need to come in the top, doesn't it? Chemical decomposers always work from the top. So then we basically need to put it onto this and out comes the side. We can take it out of the side, that's good. I probably need to make another server, but that's no big deal. So I'm going to take this around here like this and through the wall. In fact, I think we can do this one block back. So make it a bit neater as well. So we just take out a block of mint in each of these like this. And then we should be able to reach down there. So let's just fill this in here like this. So what I'm trying to decompose, so, so we need here we need an export bus, just a standard export bus onto that, like that. And we want to get some carbon. Well actually to be honest with you, I've already set this up in here as a test beforehand. And as you can see, this has got loads of carbon in here. So I can take some of this carbon out of here like that. And we can put that into here. 
like this. And then that will start to fill this up with carbon. We won't get much in for the time being. You see it's starting to fill up. As, but we do need to power this up so we can actually connect these together. So let's just, I'm running out of power cables very quickly. But I think I can afford two. So that will then start to produce, fill this up with um, carbon. And of course we can come along here and take the two bits that we don't need. I, I might be better off using transfer nodes and pipes because the stack upgrade is, is relatively inexpensive. This chest of course is going to be completely full and so is this. But in here I can take out the carbon and I can also take out the, uh, oops wrong one, missed it, this one. Acceleration card, <laughs> put the acceleration card in there. So I can take the acceleration card out of here, like this, put it into this one, and that'll speed this process up of exporting uh, uncompressed coal down here. So all we need now is a servo. Let's go and get a servo. Actually, servos are fairly straightforward to make. I can turn that back on again now, can't I? So I want a speed upgrade, I want a servo. Just one of these. I think we can we could try doing one of these. Yeah, we can get two hardened servos. Slightly better. We could we actually do reinforced servos? No, because we hadn't we need some electrum for that. I think we haven't got any electrum, but we can do hardened, no problem. And it might be for, they might be adequate for what we need. In fact, they will be more than adequate. Because it, the generator, the sterling generator, doesn't take, use that much carbon anyway. So what we can now do is we can put this onto here like that. We'll enable it later on. So that's now producing lots of carbon, yeah? Nearly full. And we just basically see, need to run this down through here now. So it should have reached this point. Oh, it's actually there. Ah, oh. okay, that's not such a big deal. We'll just take it. It's not as neat as I wanted it to be. Let's take it down through here, like this. And then I really want to bring it across to the to meet this one up, like that. And then we can take away these, of course. I think I need to remove those two. And we'll bring the cable down, the pipe down here. So where's my pipe? It's getting my inventory is getting nice and full, as usual. And before, so that's now going to push everything down here. And of course, I can fill all of this in. Let's just get my builders ones out here like this, and just put it say here. I'll fill in these ones at the back first of all and I think that's all we need oops I just did the wrong one that was rather smart wasn't it I didn't know you could do that with pipes when well, I learned something new well, I have so we can do that like that and like that and that fills in this gap and we can fill in the rest like oh, probably won't like this to be better so we should be able to get that from below now so anyway let's go downstairs and set up the rest of this. It should come out here like that. And all I need to do then is to take this here like this and bring this and fit this onto this sterling generator. If I've got enough space, I'm a bit stuck there. I probably can stand here, can't I? So that should now be getting carb carbon in all the time filled up it's also getting it from here as well of course but he probably is not going to I haven't configured this to pull from the top yet so we can in fact just check this I don't think it's going to pull in from top I'm gonna to let this use up all the carbon in here first so that's that done and the reason I want to do that is if I'm looking at this here you'll see now it's going up and it's going up reasonably quickly. Without the carbon, it was actually going down. So the, the machines themselves were using more power than we actually had. And this is good, because I also moved the cable from here 
because it was connected to this basic capacitor bank and it wasn't giving enough power to these machines they all had too little power as you can see plenty of this what's happened here Got 17 is everything working in here it's fairly slow this one anyway 11 I think that's working it's probably a bit slow at the moment but um, anyway I don't want to check this at the moment that should be okay that should get waiting for some hydrogen is the hydrogen blocked nope hydrogen so is this full of something else ah, it's full of carbon why that's strange I'll have to take some of this carbon out of that all right I'll do that later on there's no urgency for that at the moment we need to get the bronze going though I hope I've got enough room but basically it's the same principle we're going to come along here and we're going to decompose um, what are we going to decompose we're going to decompose bronze now bronze is made out of copper and tin so at least we're going to put that on there I should be able to put that on there yes good and that there good I'm just hoping I've got enough room I think I have that's good I'm not sure I'm happy about this because I need to be able to go over connect these two together that's not a big deal we can connect that through here look we'll bring that we'll bring the cable around and connect it to this because that's actually the the main route through from these two that's okay we'll do that how much cable have I got with me 34 plenty good so I'll just break these two in fact I don't think that's needed either so that's all right we'll just connect this around here like this if I do it two away it won't connect up but that's not such a big deal I'm just thinking a little bit at the higher level I can still walk underneath here get at the machines that we need to do so that's fine so now everything's powered up in here I guess yes plenty of power already full so we need to do the same thing over here and this time we're going to take some cable coming across here so we need some glass fiber I've got 15 that's enough I think we only need about four so if I put one here one here connect that one to that and then I can connect these two together and then we just need some fluid transfer nodes on this one uh, sorry some fluid export nodes now let's put down a block here because I can't quite reach like that and like that and then we need to get a bucket of copper and a bucket of tin so then they will be exporting out of here and we can take the I think we've got enough space I hope we've got enough space might not have actually decomposers can come out the bottom so that's okay and it's only going to have copper and it's only going to have tin so we don't need to worry about that and then we need to get to the synthesizer which looks more of an interesting challenge but I've got a synthesizer with me I've already prepared those between episodes like this I guess that's looked good but it has to come into the top of the synthesizer that's no big deal let's do it see if we can do that now this means of course I've got to dig a bot underneath here I've got a feeling I really did mess this up a bit didn't I let me just take oh yes oh, that's okay we've got the wall over here so we can put the blocks down here but I only need one to get to these so these are going to be outputs aren't they nothing's in them yet and the other transfer nodes are probably being, being made so let's just take that one I don't think I have any more around like that and then we need some filters so let's go and make some filters and get some oxygen at the same time the oxygen first of all I 
she got plenty of oxygen, but it's not a bad idea to, to keep some in. And now we're looking here as well. See, now I've got 30, um, 8 copper and 25. Those and some cheese curd, which we can actually make. This one you can use that to make as a resonant ender. Actually, I can't put those in there like that. But I want to get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. Because it's filling up my inventory, and I think that's as that's what we need to get rid of. So, right. And what am I trying to do? Oh yes, nodes and filters. Let's get some filters out of here. This is all we need. Gonna need two of these. Take four, make four, because we've got plenty of redstone and plenty of sticks. And string is less of a problem these days as well. And what else do we want to do? Filters. Oh yes, we want to get the nodes, don't we? But I can put these ender ender pearls over here now. I did use a few ender pearls to make the hoppers, of course. You need one uh eye vendor for each hopper, vacuum hopper. Right, so let's go down underneath here to start to get a bit messy underneath here as well. So let's put this one underneath here like that. Should have picked up some. Oh, that was a good jump. So I think that what we can do with these, we can now filter these. Oh, I didn't get a bucket of. Um, I'm better going to get a bucket of copper and a bucket of tin. In fact, we can take the ones out of here, can't we? Put them back because only basically there's to set the filters. Copper and tin, that's good. And I want some glowstone. Oh, more than one, I think. Let's take 32. Actually, I don't need these pipes anymore. Let's take that like that. So, where are we? So those are all powered, that's great. So we need to come up the top here. So we should be able to do that without such a problem. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to put on top of this a rationing pipe. Don't need those export buses anymore. To make the bronze, like that. And then, I'm going to take this the normal pipes through here and we're going to take them off the side so we need um this one we can have here like that we need to disconnect that from there but that's not such a problem we come up here like that and that should be good you'll see the problem with doing it the other way you can't it's not so easy and then I should be able to tell this thing not to connect to there should oh, look at that perfect I hope so anyway let's put it into these of course let's put some into the glowstone into each of these now before I connect do anything else what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the copper into here first of all and that's going to start decomposing copper and then from that copper we can take one of those we could put that into a filter Oh, actually I don't need to do that, do I? I've only got copper, I don't need to filter it out at all, do I? And the same I'm going to do over here, I'm going to put a bucket of tin in here like this. Oops. Oh, that'll have gone into here, won't it? Um, that'll have gone, <laughs> where's that gone to? Aha, oh, here, good. All right, let's try that again, put it in the right places. Ah, I want to slay. into the node here and into the top part of it. That's not right. What am I doing? That's chemical decomposer. Oh yes, I want the, f I'm trying to hit this thing. That's better. I was just being daft. Okay, so those are basically there. So we need these now to connect across. 
like that and then I want them to connect into this one but it's going to connect onto the sides of this at the same time oh no it hasn't oh wow perfect so we've got one set of copper and some tin now the recipe if I'm not mistaken so we want the thermal what we actually want is bronze but we want um, bronze ingot and I don't think it matters which one but we'll use the, the thermal foundation one so that's 12 in the middle and 4 and the, there so we need 12 of these and we'll also have to get a book of course but I might do that off camera and we need some tin Actually, I've got a full inventory let's just roll that up four like that and then I can put four in this top left hand corner there and we get tin ingots put those over there so then we can simply take those tin, tin ingots out like we did last time now I need another transfer node of course and I need to be able to connect that to the bottom of these and I wonder if I can reach no chance huh Anyway, I can do that from me. Fair, we know where it is anyway, it's just here. So if I just put, dig down here one, I think it's this one. Doesn't matter much we do this one, in fact. Yeah, and we can go down here like that. And then we can put the transfer node on here. That was lucky, wasn't it? And I need that to disconnect because I don't want these connecting up. What's going wrong here? I want stripy ones on I want it non stripy at the top that's being a pain I'm definitely being a pain let's have a look take this one and put it into that well they're getting bronze into that. that's for good so what's happening with that it's probably trying to push things back in again I've got to split these two up and I don't want to put a chest down here just yet because if I do that then it's not going to work so well so I just need to get this one and I'm having difficulty reaching it from this side it might be easier so we want the stripes are basically the no entry bit so I want the stripes to go to the right not to the left to the right that's probably good and then there we go now is that working it doesn't seem that it's completely working I think I want the stripes <laughs> well I'm not 100% sure but it's not connected at the bottom here, so we can simply put a chest down um, if I had one that is what if I have my chest Is there anything in this chest? I guess there's some. We could use this chest actually, but the other things are going to float around a bit. Let's get the axe out. Throw that away and that away. That's the one I want. Let's put that in slot three. Like that. And then come over here and then put the chest down here like this. And we can put the saplings into the chest and the wood probably being picked up so that's picking up those now that's good let's have a look on here the, the copper's not coming in but the tin is and it's not coming in because this is not working correctly so I need the stripes to go basically not this direction yeah that's not what I want neither is that that's what I want so now we should get I might have got some copper in here but we'll soon check the move that out some tin I mean and we've got some copper in here fantastic look at that so we can put the tin back in here now and this should start to increase yeah it is and then we should start to get more bronze ingots in here 29 30 31 so we're now getting bronze ingots being produced this is actually disturbing my sense here I'm going to turn that around 
And here you see we've got lots of iron that we made last time. And we can refine these iron, well, we can make plates out of that. So we'll do that. Actually, we'll take one of those to make plates. Uh, well, I would do, let's just put some saplings away in here. We can come back and get those another time. Just take a an ingot because I want to show you something with that. Oh, my door's open. Why is my door open? Ah, oh, a zombie must have come in because it's night time. What can I put away in here? Well, I don't think I need the glowstone anymore. Well, I'll take the glow, keep the glowstone. So what we do here is we put the ingot into rolling mode in here and we get a plate. Now, to convert this plate to steel plates for the other recipe, it's just shapeless crafting like that. But you can also do it twice and it comes back as a refined iron plate. So that's how that works. As you can see, I did them on already just to test the how it worked. And I think that's just about it. I would like to go and fix the hydrogen. I'm a bit surprised about that to be honest with you because I didn't expect let me have a look that's the silicon and oxygen oh is that full oh, that's not going to help is it this is full as well oh this is for cobblestone okay I'm going to have to replace this hardened cache for another one or do something else with this. Well, I wanted to get sort out the rubber one, didn't I? But I think I'll do that next time. Yeah, this is not getting in. It's because this is full of carbon. Well, and I don't know why. We can move that out of the way, and we can put the carbon in this in this chest here anyway, because that can then be used for fuel and fill up this. So, I'm going to stand here, I think. I hope you enjoyed it, this episode again. It's um, getting quite interesting because we're now starting to get to around to producing the plates for the rocket. So, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.